Hello, this is Seth from Contact Integrated Solutions. In this video, I'm going to explain how to wire a locking 3 prong 30 amp connector. For your reference, this is Contact's part number 60411. For the first step, we're going to slide a compression nut, helix friction cone, and a grommet, or commonly known as a gasket, onto the cable. After that, you're going to slide on the body housing. Be sure when doing this to move all the parts far enough back so you can give yourself plenty of room to wire your device, as shown in the video. In step 3, you will begin the wiring process. You will be inserting the corresponding wires into the terminals. Be sure to reference our wiring diagram that comes packaged with all of our contact assembly products. The green wire is for the ground, white wire is for the neutral, and the black wire will be your live one wire. A live wire is the one that has the flow of electricity going through it, so be sure to pay close attention when wiring your devices, as incorrectly wiring them can result in shorting out your electrical system. For this video, we have attached wire ferrules at the end of the wire to make this process easier. You can pick them up at many of the local hardware stores, electrical stores, or even online. We strongly recommend using them, but if you happen to be in a pinch and need to get your device wired, you can gently twist the braided copper wire together before inserting into the terminal. When inserting the wire into the terminals, be sure to not have any wire jacket in the terminal as this can affect the continuity of the power cord or the continuous flow of electricity. After inserting each wire, promptly tighten each terminal. This will assist in your wiring efforts. You are now in the home stretch of wiring your device. Just slide the body housing up to the terminal housing and align the screws to the holes. For beginners, we recommend using a screwdriver over an electrical tool as they have a higher tendency to strip the holes for the screws. Once the screws have been tightened, you will begin to slide the grommet or the gasket up into the body housing, then the helix friction cone, and lastly the compression nut. Once the compression nut is in place, firmly tighten it with either a channel lock or a crescent wrench. You have now successfully wired a locking 3 prong 30 amp connector. For further information and products, please visit our website at www.contact.com. And thank you for watching.